Silicon Valley, the first thing that probably comes to mind is technology, not open space or biodiversity. But Silicon Valley is globally recognized as a biodiversity hotspot. That means that we have plant and animal species here that are found nowhere else on the planet. And amazingly, all this biodiversity is happening alongside millions of people. We have a remarkable opportunity to apply our spirit of innovation to preserving this natural legacy. Oh, when they love, it's only gonna grow. The focus of our habitat restoration program is on restoring biodiversity to open spaces. We do this using two key strategies across our sites. First, we introduce locally native plants that we grow at our native plant nursery. They provide food and shelter for wildlife and carry out important ecosystem services that we rely on. Second, we involve volunteers in everything we do. So we're building community and rebuilding the ecosystem at the same time. Yeah, the love is gonna grow, oh, 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 yeah, it's only gonna grow. Our restoration sites cover a variety of ecosystems, including the baylands at Cooley Landing. The tidal marsh here provides critical habitat for wildlife, including migratory birds and two endangered species, the Ridgeways rail and the salt marsh harvest mouse. Looking at Cooley Landing now, you'd probably never guess that it used to be a landfill. For decades, though, trash was dumped and burned here, destroying the marshland and contaminating the soil. But over many years, the site was cleaned up and converted into a park and education center. It's now the city's largest open space. Cooley is an inspiring example of a community successfully coming together to transform its local environment, and we're pleased to be continuing that legacy. These students have helped us plant thousands of native plants over the years. They've also helped to remove invasive weeds and litter, and vegetate and maintain bioswales to help remove pollution and prevent it from entering the bay. I'm never gonna let go. Redwood Grove is a six-acre nature preserve located in a residential neighborhood near downtown Los Altos. It's a really special place because it provides an opportunity for locals to experience nature close to home. When we first started working here in 2009, the park was covered in invasive ivy. Since then, we've worked with thousands of volunteers to reintroduce native plants throughout the park and to restore the creek that flows through here. To get local teens more deeply involved in the stewardship of Redwood Grove, we offer field trips and educational workdays all throughout the year. We also have our Grove Guardians program, which is a youth-only program that occurs over the summer. What we're doing is more than just nature education. We're empowering youth to make a positive impact on the land. It's really exciting to see the sense of change and responsibility that comes with that. Yeah, they're gonna plant some seeds and they're gonna watch them grow. Ultimately, what's made our habitat restoration program so successful is the participation of our local community. Each of our sites is a demonstration of how we're bringing together public and private partners along with schools and individuals to improve our local environment. The climate crisis and habitat destruction are global enormous problems that we can't solve alone. But there is a lot that we can do to improve the resilience of our local open space. We hope that our programs and actions will inspire local communities and future leaders. So we invite you to join the Grassroots family and support our programs today. Thank you.